No, what are we doing? We are doing... Resurface. What are we going to call this? I was thinking about that. We're doing a bathroom makeover. Ooh, so nice. You think it's still morning? So Steven and I got up really early, way before dawn, to do a super, super special project for the most important person in my whole entire life, my mom. So yay! So this is our own sort of Mother's Day celebration, putting up some new beadboard. It's gonna look beautiful. So we'll show you guys the befores and afters and each step in between. Are you excited, Steven? <laughs> All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna kind of show you, this is the before. So obviously mom took a lot of this stuff off. The walls. And it's a tiny powder room just as you walk in the door. So what we're gonna do is really brighten this up and we're gonna add beadboard on all of the main walls, as you can see, and then add some cool trim. And I'm gonna just close the door here and we'll add trim or excuse me we'll add beadboard on this wall as well and we'll show you the steps in between okay the first step obviously is get everything off the walls so we've gotten most of the plates and things off now we are just getting the base cabinet and sink out Guys, just make sure when you do this to cut your caulking that runs along the backside of the sink there. Turn off the water and disconnect it from the hoses. Disconnect your P-trap, which is down inside. Make sure you have a little bucket. And one of the most difficult, funny enough, one of the most difficult things is usually cabinets are screwed into the wall through the little uh, back piece of wood. Back up in there is a little tiny screw and of course all the stuff's in the way so you can't get a drill in there so just make sure you unscrew that from the wall before you start trying to drag it out and then once we get this out we can start hanging the beadboard <laughs> all right guys here we go we're cutting our first cut for the wall Okay, now we're bringing this piece in that we just cut the notch out. Guys, make sure you dry fit this before you use any liquid nails or nails at all. Okay, so guys, you want, after you dry fit this first sheet and all of them, make sure you dry fit it. Then you wanna go ahead and add some liquid nails to the back. You can just do like whatever, basic liquid nails. It doesn't need to be hardcore if it's in an interior. And then we're gonna stick it to the wall and then we'll shoot it with a brad nailer. Okay, so we just cut and now we're dry fitting the second piece. That one was pretty quick and easy. So we're gonna liquid nails it and shoot it in. So you guys, what we did is we measured out the bathroom wall to get around all the plumbing. And then we came out and drew our little square and we're gonna cut that out and then cut the length off. Okay, so we're fitting in the sheet I was just showing you um, where we cut out the plumbing. So we're gonna dry fit that and get that shot in. So what we're working on right now is getting the measurement for that piece on the left-hand wall. And it's gotta go up around this soffit here and then up into that top corner up there. 
we have to also cut this outlet out. So you can see I pencil marked our measurements there on the wall and then draw a little diagram for us on the wall. And that's it. And we're going to make those cuts and get this one in. all of your beadboard up you want to go through trim it out you'll notice that we added just some really nice simple trim and then caulk all of your seams so up here we've um, caulked all along where the trim is and then obviously our center seams or our corner seams and now that's all done and we're gonna let it dry and get on to painting Now it's paint time! All right, we're all finished. We did it. Yay! And it looks amazing. What do you think, Steven? I think it looks great. I think it looks awesome, too. My mom doesn't really want to be on camera at all. I've tried. She just doesn't want to. <laughs> but needless to say, she's super happy with it, which makes us really happy. So now it's time Good for the video. big reveal. <laughs> this is all of the new beadboard. It looks so awesome. And we did the trim. So mom wanted the entire room to be painted the same color so that it just opens it up and it breathes so much better in here. It looks so beautiful. I can't wait to see the mirror. There's a new pendant light. So obviously there's um, a little soffit area. That's where the HVAC goes, but that's all the new trim pieces up there. And the beadboard also comes around the door. And I think it turned out Fabulously. I swear I can't have nothing nice. You can't. You can never, look at your cupboard. Guys, thank you so much. As usual, we just appreciate you for chiming in, checking out our videos. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you ever need any work on your interior, please give us a call, 303-531-1553, or our website right down here. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you next time.